Hey there, welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Nathan Fox. That's Ben Olson. Together we're the founders of LSATdemon.com and our weekly podcast, Thinking LSAT. We're going to look at a logical reasoning question today from Prep Test 73. I'll read you the passage, Ben, and you can tell me what you think of it. This is a Test 73, Section 4, Question 16, if you're playing along at home. Stress is a common cause of high blood pressure. Okay. It's telling me straight up that this thing, stress, makes my blood pressure go up. That's significant because on the test, they often talk about things that happen together, but I don't know what their relationship is. I don't have to worry about that here. It's just telling me stress makes my blood pressure go up. Yep. By calming their minds and thereby reducing stress, some people can lower their blood pressure. Makes total sense. If stress makes it go up, <laughs> reducing stress seems like it could make it go down. Okay. And most people can calm their minds in turn by engaging in exercise. Again, this thing, exercise, makes us more calm. And making us more calm can make us have a lower blood pressure. Um, it all makes sense. It seems like these are just three facts. There's not really um, an argument here. And so putting them together, it sounds like exercise can make my blood pressure go down. Totally. Um, and that's exactly what you should be thinking here. That, you know, th there's no argument here. It's just a set of facts. But Ben, you did it perfectly. You just immediately connected those facts. Yep. Uh, and thought, oh, so exercise can calm your mind and calm your mind can lower blood pressure. And yeah, so maybe by exercising, I can lower my blood pressure. Yeah. And I'm not saying it will. Definitely. I'm just saying it can because that's the language that they used here. But that's good enough. Speaking of language, look at the terrible usage of in turn there. Isn't that weird? Most people can calm their minds in turn by engaging in exercise. Yeah, that is but a that, weird placement. <laughs> well, it's it's exactly wrong. It's exactly wrong because it's not in turn. They're not. What they're telling you is that you can exercise to calm your mind. And then in turn, your calm mind might reduce your stress and lower your blood pressure. Yeah, so they just weirdly put that. Is that a, is it a transition? Is it a conjunction? Is it, it's nothing. It doesn't have any effect whatsoever. Anyway. Okay. You fought through it. Turns out to be a supported question. Which one of the following is most strongly supported by the information above? Again, what do you, what are you looking for here? Uh, I'm looking for something that essentially must be true given what I just read. Okay. And specifically, what are you looking for here? I'm looking for something that says, Hey, by the way, exercise can lower my blood pressure, at least for most people. Well, at least for some people, you should say. Yeah. Yeah. Most people can calm their minds by engaging in exercise, but only some people some. lower their blood pressure by calming their minds. Fair enough. I'm being a little fast, but I'm also not super worried because I know <laughs> so many of these answers are going to say something entirely different. Okay. And if push comes to shove, then it'd be like, oh yeah, well, it's some, right? Okay. A. For at least some people, having lower blood pressure has at least some tendency to cause their stress levels to be reduced. No, this is switching the causal relationship. It's saying that the lower blood pressure is having some sort of an effect on their stress, where the argument said it, or the passage said it in the other direction. Stress has an effect on their blood pressure. Okay. B, most people with high blood pressure can lower their blood pressure by reducing their stress. Most people with high blood pressure can lower their blood pressure by reducing their stress levels. We do know that stress is a common cause. And then they said some people can lower their blood pressure by reducing their stress. I don't know if that's true for most people, though. No, because even if stress is a common cause of high blood pressure, it could still be the 49th most common cause of high blood pressure. Yep. And yep. it could be obesity or diabetes or too much salt or whatever. And there'd be a thousand things that could be more influential and could be a much more common cause of stress. C, most people who do not exercise regularly have higher stress levels as a result. No, I know stress helps calm our minds and therefore eventually our stress. But Exercise helps. Yeah. Yeah. Exercise 
So I don't even know what I said, but, um, I don't know what happens to people who don't exercise. Yeah. Even talk be, about it. Be careful here. I could see people choosing that answer because they think it's true in real life. Mm. You know, be like, oh, yeah, those people who never exercise, of course, they're stressed out. But they're not asking you for your opinion. They're asking you what these facts said. D, engaging in exercise can directly lower one's blood pressure. Oh, I don't know if it happens directly. In fact, the passage suggested that it happens indirectly. Yeah, that's probably worth having a short discussion about, huh? What does directly mean and what does indirectly mean? Well, directly means this event, maybe exercising, <laughs> I'm going to say the word again, directly uh, impacts the next thing, which is lowering your blood pressure. But that's not what the passage said. The passage talked about these things that happen in between, right? Exercising makes you calmer. Becoming calmer makes you have less stress. Less stress then lowers your blood pressure. So maybe one thing is affecting something else before it's finally affecting your blood pressure. That's indirect. Yeah, anything that's not direct is indirect. So like you directly kill someone if you run them over with your car. Great example. <laughs> you indirectly kill someone if you, you know get your friend super drunk and then give your friend your car keys and tell them to go down to the package store to buy more booze. And then that friend runs someone over in your car. There, maybe you indirectly caused the death of that person. But you weren't driving the car, so you were not the direct cause of that person's death. Sure. Okay. E, for at least some people, engaging in exercise can cause their stress levels to be reduced. That's exactly what... We talked about, that's what I predicted. That's the answer. It's also got the perfect wording. At least some can, you know, it's not trying to claim too much. So yeah. great. We did get an email on this. I'm looking at the written explanation here and we had a, we had a correspondent who said, I didn't choose E because I didn't think it had to be true. Okay. Well, I can go on and see what you would say to this. So the objection was. I didn't choose E because I didn't think it had to be true. We don't know if the some people who can lower their blood pressure by calming their minds overlap with the most people who can engage their minds with exercise. So my guess is for supported questions, the answers don't have to be true. They're just the ones that are most likely to be true. Any That's, response to all of that? Yeah, I have two responses. Yes. It's a supported question, so we're not looking for something that must be true, and your quibble may be valid, but also, okay, what answer did you choose? Yeah, so this person actually chose D. Okay. And that's, you know, and and the, the problem with D is definitely that word directly. Yeah, we have no evidence for that. If If you take that word directly out of that answer, it becomes engaging in exercise can lower one's blood pressure. Sure seems like it. Well, yeah. the, the, can. well the, funny, the funny thing is, is that's the, how is that any, even if you take that directly out, how is that any better than E? Oh, I'm not, I'm not comparing it to E. I'm just saying it could definitely be the correct answer if E wasn't there and the word directly was removed from that answer choice. Sure. I guess right? my question would still go back to Dylan though, this correspondent, right? Someone is like, Hey, but how do we know the sum and the most line up and everything like that? Well, yeah. you'd have the same issue with D. So then. How can that be the issue? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> if he says engaging in exercise can cause stress to be reduced, then yeah, surely you must agree that engaging in exercise can lower one's blood pressure because that was the whole point. Exercise lowers blood pressure, which reduces stress. Oh, wait, sorry. It's the other way around. Exercise. Yeah. So D is actually still reduces. worse. <laughs> oh, it's you worse. Because you have to go one more step still yeah. to get to D. Mm hmm. Yeah. And anyway, it was the word directly that made that a thousand percent wrong. Yeah. Because... Sorry to get into this, the weeds <laughs> here, but I mean, that's what we always get back to, right? Like people take issues with answer choices and it's like, okay, well then that issue cannot exist in any of the other answers. And yet it does the best, yeah. the next best answer. It still has that problem. So that can't be the issue here. Yeah. Yeah. You got to make two mistakes to miss that question. So it's fine that you had this quibble with E and you didn't think it was a perfect answer, that's okay. But you failed to be equally skeptical of D. 
And, you know, so you, you picked that wrong answer without being skeptical enough. Okay. Keep practicing. Yep. Cool. Email daily at lsatdemon.com if you'd like to ask us a question or share some LSAT or law school admissions news. Thanks for listening. 